Joined now by number 26, Carson Wells. Had a pick six out there today. He was all over the field out there. That's got to feel pretty good, though, today, just to walk out of here with a nice victory the way you guys do. Yeah, I mean, winning solves everything. So, I mean, uh, kept a zero on the boards. We scored more points than we gave up. So, do you always love to see that uh, from a defensive perspective? Yeah, it was a good day all the way across. So, when does the, on the sideline amongst the defenders, when, when does the talk of a shutout start happening? In the third quarter, you're going, hey, you guys, we can, we can shut these guys out. When does that start? Uh, it started... Uh, I mean, that's your main goal going into any game. Okay. But it came a like realization whenever uh, uh, Trevor Woods blocked that punt. Uh, just huge morale boost right there. I feel like that was a turning point of the game. That was a big play by the freshman. Uh, I feel like that was a huge turning point, and from that point on, we just didn't look back. It's amazing the complementary nature of football and, and the way when a guy makes a play like that, all of a sudden – you know, confidence starts feeding in other aspects of it and energy. And all of a sudden, then you come out and get your interception for a pick six. And all of a sudden, the whole feeling of this game changes, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, special teams can win or lose your games. And in this case, they won us the game. I feel like uh, that's our goal is to win every phase of the game. And I felt like we did a good job of that today as a team. You know, Buff's great Jeff Campbell was doing the broadcast with me in the pregame. He was talking about that this defense needs to fly around, needs to make plays out there. You guys are playing with phenomenal energy early in this ball game. Yeah, the bye week was good. Uh, we, we were dinged up, like, uh, slowing us down a little bit. The bye week helped us get healthy, and uh, I, I feel like you can see that today. We, we had some fresh legs out there flying around. Take us into the pick six, okay? You jumped that route nicely and returned about 50 yards or so for a touchdown. Take us through that play. Yeah, so we called a pressure from the other side, and I was like, we called a buzz drop. I'm just a flat. So I punched out, rerouted two, and then got my eyes back on the quarterback and saw three running a little stick route to the flat right to me. So I just broke on that, and the rest is history. Nate got a good block for me. Uh, I was not letting the quarterback tackle me again. Last year, UCLA is not tackling me again. I wasn't going to bring that up. I'm glad you did. It's not happening again. One so, is too many. Yeah, did you know you were going to the, the house immediately? For sure. Yeah. Once I saw Nate block the tackle, I was, the quarterback was not tackling me. <laughs> Outstanding. I was wondering, had you thought about any sort of a touchdown celebration when you got there? Or had you even thought about that? Uh, I just want to celebrate with my teammates. We saw Cam right there. We took a picture real fast. Just want to celebrate with my brothers. What does this mean in that locker room, just to kind of relieve the pressure of losing four in a row? Yeah, I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't lose this game. We knew going into that uh, Arizona, I think it's, what, 18, 18 losing streak now. We couldn't be the team to break that. Uh, I knew we were struggling. Uh, we all knew we were struggling. Uh, we knew we had to win this game. and It was a must-have, and it gives us confidence moving forward through the rest of the Pac-12 schedule. Lastly here, I want you to brag on your brothers on the offensive side. That, that unit showed you something today. That, there was some improvement they showed you today, wasn't there? Yeah, B. Rice made a couple nice catches. Uh, I mean, Dimitri had the one, but the sun was, yeah. the sun was horrible. Uh, I saw that in the pregame. Uh, Montana had a couple nice catches. The offense, I, I feel like they made a huge step forward today. Love it. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. There's linebacker uh, Carson Wells as he gets the victory. And now we're going to talk to the quarterback. We're going to bring him over. Uh, Brendan Lewis is going to join us here for a couple of minutes as the Buffs get the victory today, 34 nothing, as they blank Arizona. We're going to let you brag on those guys on the defensive side. How about the way they played tonight? Yeah, they're phenomenal. Coach Wilson does a great, outstanding job with them. And uh, seeing them makes plays, makes us on the offensive side want to make plays. When you start seeing special teams make a play like, like Trevor did, right, getting get the, the scoop and the score off the block pond, then you see Carson go out and get an interception. When those other units start playing that way, that, that energy and momentum kind of shifts and, and seeps in all you guys, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. And I think we showed that when, uh, after they got two big, two big turnovers for points. We, we went out there and scored. So it just, it just put a lot of feel to the fire, knowing they make it plays for us. We want to go make plays for them. You, you thought that made some great steps today. Well, we saw you. You were stepping up. You were throwing on rhythm. You were finding guys downfield. Talk about the last couple of weeks and, and all the things that you've been working on with your coaches. Yeah, I know I, I know what I need to work on. Our coaches do a great job helping me with what I need to work on. And I, I feel like that Bobby really helped uh, work on the things I need to work on. And I think it showed out here today. Do you feel, I mean, you know, there, there comes a time, and you hear this conversation with quarterbacks all the time, where all of a sudden you go, oh, Okay, I understand what, what's going on. Do you feel like you're kind of getting into that area where it's starting to make sense and, and maybe things are slowing down a little bit for you? Yeah, definitely. Once I, start, once I start making plays and everything slows down, I think everything just starts clicking. You know, I'm seeing everything. I'm seeing the whole field. I'm looking for dudes downfield. Uh, limiting mistakes that I, I was making earlier in the season, you know, getting the ball out. I don't think I took any sacks today, which was tremendous. Yeah, yeah there's no doubt about that. Listen, we've already known you're a talented guy. Has, it been, has this been a hard kind of road for you? Has it been you've struggled? I know you're as competitive as anybody. You're harder on yourself than anybody is. Has this been hard on you? Yeah, it's definitely been hard, you know, uh, being, being competitive how I am. Uh, but, you know, I, I was grown. I, I grew up, like, everybody's going to have adversity. You know, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I just, I knew this was adversity, and I feel like, I know I got to fight through it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get better and better. 
You know, Carl told me the other day, we were doing the Bumps Primetime Show, and he said that the rest of the team wanted you to be a captain for this ball game. The rest of the team during conditioning wanted you to lead those guys out there. That showed you something this week. Even though there were struggles, your, your guys were still behind you and wanted you to go out and lead them out there. Yeah, we're so, we're so close as a team. I love, I love everybody on the team. And I feel like our chemistry is there. Our chemistry has always been there. You know, we love each other. We all have faith in each other. And I feel like that really helps us on game day, good or bad. Good, good things happen or bad things happen. I think that helps. Well, congratulations. Outstanding job. Continue the growth. And uh, we'll look forward to next week's game at Berkeley. Thank you.